Um, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about the pelvic floor and ways that you can ensure that you have a strong pelvic floor. Um, I'm specifically going to talk about some products that exist that are designed for exercising the pelvic floor in really cool kind of 21st century ways. Um, but before I get into all that, I guess I want to talk about, um, first of all, what a Kegel exercise is and why you would do it. So um, if you've been following our series at all on the pelvic floor, um, hey, hope you're doing great in Miami. <laughs> um, so if you've been following our series on the pelvic floor, you'll know that this refers to the group of muscles that are um, found in the lower abdomen that control the uh, basically all of our pelvic organs and the openings and, and all that good stuff. So kegels come up a lot in conversation, but a lot of people don't really know what they are. So what it is, is essentially uh, clenching and unclenching, or let's not even use that word, like tightening and relaxing different muscles um, in your pelvic floor. And the way that you can do them, if you've never done one before, is next time that you go to pee, you can start peeing, and then in the middle of your pee, uh, stop yourself. And everyone can do this, um, but yeah, I guess it's that, like action, those muscles that you use to stop yourself from peeing, those are actually the same muscles that you're doing when you do a Kegel exercise. So a Kegel exercise is simply like replicating that same um, very like, I guess sort of nuanced muscle movement that you do when you stop yourself peeing in the middle, in the middle of peeing. Um, I have to say though, like don't on the reg start and stop peeing while you're peeing, that's really bad for you. <laughs> Just do it the once to locate where um, the PC muscles are that you're going to exercise. So why you would do it, I think the biggest reason is urinary incontinence. So that's not, that's like when you're leaking urine. So that can happen, um, it can happen kind of just passively, it can happen when you cough or sneeze. But it's a really, really common thing to um, have going on after the birth of a child. And so a lot of doulas will encourage our clients to exercise um, their pelvic floor muscles both before and after childbirth. Um, of course, after childbirth, you would want to wait until you had the go-ahead from your provider before really doubling down on the Kegels, so after that six-week appointment. Um, beyond just that like urinary incontinence benefit, there's also, uh, if you think about this, you're exercising a group of muscles in a particular region in your body, so that's going to increase blood flow to those same muscles. And that may come with some extra benefits, like it could help to... Um, promote healing faster uh, and could also help to, um, well, that's the big one, <laughs> improving circulation to help you heal faster. Another one that's like a nice benefit is uh, stronger orgasms. So actually, if um, the, the involuntary clenching and unclenching that is an orgasm is those same muscles, the PC muscles. Um, and also just like over the course of your lifetime, uh, your muscle tone goes down, and that includes all of your uh, pelvic floor muscles. So getting nice practice in from you know your your young days of having a strong and healthy pelvic floor is really great for helping to keep at bay some of those complications that can arise as we lose muscle tone. So that's you know incontinence or even um, pelvic floor prolapse or sorry pelvic organ prolapse, which can happen if you have a weaker pelvic floor. So, um, I wanted to jump in by talking about these two devices that I have here with me today. This is called the Kegel Smart, and it's by a company called Intimina. And then this is the Kegel, and it's by a company called Mina. So these um, two products are really cool. I actually didn't even realize there were these like high-tech Kegel exercisers until a couple months ago. But what's really amazing about them to me is that they take this... Uh, kind of like mundane thing that, that you can do and turn it into something that's more like a game that is responsive, that's kind of like taking all the amazing strides technology has made in, in the last century and like using it to train your Kegel muscles, like why not, right? Um, and I think that it makes it a lot more fun and engaging and probably increases compliance. Um, I know that, you know, it's, it's much more fun to play a game than it is to, uh, you know, like every time you're at a stoplight, dude, 10 kegels, or <laughs> whatever it is. It's, it's uh, a lot more engaging. 
So I'll start out by um, talking about the Kegel Smart. So Intamina is one of the sponsors from our Thriving Together retreat that we held in November, um, or sorry, in October in Tulum, Mexico. And Intamina is a brand of a Swedish company called Lalo that makes, uh, Lalo makes high-end sex toys. But Intamina actually specializes in um, products for women's sexual health and wellness. So that includes things like vibrators, but also um, menstrual cups um, and Kegel balls. And then of course the Kegel Smart. So this one's really easy to use. I think that's my favorite thing about the Kegel Smart is that it's just like it's just dead simple but still fun. Um, the way that this one works just has one little button. You press this button and it'll flash a light. Oh, sorry, other side. <laughs> it flashes a light that shows you that you press the button and it um, flashes a certain number of times to tell you where you are in um, the you know strength of your training. So yeah, you can see there it's like oh. You've got a really weak pelvic floor. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't say anything like that, but it's just on me. So you press the button, and then it gives you about 30 seconds to um, put a little lube on it, insert it inside your vagina, and then it actually then starts to vibrate. I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear it? It's vibrating. <laughs> if I put it on like my, uh, my desk, you can probably hear it. Do you hear that? Yeah, so it's going. And the idea is just that you squeeze your pelvic floor muscles when it vibrates. And then you uh, relax them when it's not vibrating. So it's just this really, really easy, um, simple feedback mechanism. And the way that it works is it uses um, touch sensor technology to tell when you're squeezing. And then it tailors the routine to your strength. So as you get stronger, it's going to make the routine more challenging for you. Um, it's recommended to use once a day, and I think, and then you rely, uh, you can do it three times a week once you get really good at it. Um, I just love this because it's so unintimidating. I feel like if I had a new baby and uh, <clears throat> I really knew that I wanted to take control of my pelvic floor health, but I didn't have a lot of mental energy to devote to that, this is just so easy to use. Um, but it's like a lot more fun than a uh, just like a simple weighted ball, which is another um, option, kind of the most low tech option. Um, those are just a little bit smaller than a ping pong ball. They have like a little string for retrieval and you can either uh, actively or passively just be clenching your muscles slightly to um, retain the ball inside your vagina. They make them in varying weights. Um, they're great, but they're not they don't really like give you, there's nothing that says like, yeah, you're doing this right. Or like, yeah, you're making progress. So I think these kinds of um, devices can do that in a much more effective way. Mm -hmm. Cost is another part of this too. Um, there's a lot of thought that, you know, investing a little bit more than you can really afford in something will make you value it way more. And I think we can kind of all think about our anecdotal experience and, and um, validate that thought. Uh, I know that if <clears throat> I, for example, spent like $50 on a bottle of essential oil, I would use it way more often than one that I spent $5 on, even if it turned out they were like exactly the same product. Simply investing in something makes us more likely to comply with it or to continue to use it. So I think like making the investment in one of these devices is definitely going to encourage people to really follow through. So this is um, $100 and you can buy it on the Intamina website, which is intamina.com. It's also available on other retailers linked on the Intamina site and I'll post links on the video of this as well as um, on the comments on the DTI Doula's Facebook group. So another product that I wanted to talk about is the Kegel by a company called Minna. So Minna is a sex toy company that's um, based in San Francisco, here where I live, and they have a very small product range that's just really, really, really high quality um, devices that are really uh, carefully and thoughtfully engineered. And um, they come in adorable packaging too. So this is the, this is the packaging for the Kegel. Um, does it have a feature to increase release of pelvic floor? Oh, I, that's a really good question. So the release of the pelvic floor is also really important during birth. Um, I think that these that's a really good engineering challenge. It's a lot easier to measure like squeezing on something than it is to um, mm -hmm. measure like effortfully relaxing your pelvic floor muscles. So um, that's where seeing a pelvic floor physical therapist specialist is really helpful because that person 
it does what a device cannot <laughs> cannot yet do. Maybe won't ever be able to do and give very personalized feedback there. Great question. Um, so this is what the the K goal looks like, and basically there's this little uh, kind of like a balloon, and you completely deflate it by pushing down on this little button on the end here. You lube it up, and then you insert it. And once you've inserted it, you tap this button here, and it will inflate the the um, this insertable portion. And what that does is it provides like a completely customized fit. So everyone's vagina is a bit different and this will um, you know only expand so like be the right size for the vagina that it's in and what's cool is rather than using you know touch sensors um, it actually uses air pressure so it measures the strength um, by measuring the air pressure in the insertable portion and what's super 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 cool about this one is that it has an app that goes with it so um, I paired it up with an iPad here, um, so it's a little bit easier to see than just on a phone, but you can, it's um, available for smartphones as well. So, let's see. Um, <clears throat> there's a workout here that's called Shape Shift, and basically it has little shapes that go across the screen, and it's your job to uh, try to like replicate your squeezing to be those shapes. So. It is very similar to the idea of an IUPC. Yeah, I'm not doing it very well. Let's see if I can do it right. Um, if I can't even do it with my hand, think about mm -hmm. how good you're going to have to be with your pelvic floor to do this. So, um, yeah. So it's just, like, such a cool... Um, such a cool thing that that's uh, really, like, 21st century technology and really, like, bringing in... Um, kind of the most innovative thought to a device like this, because um, you could probably see my notes there. <laughs> anyway, so the app also allows you to track your progress, sort of like how a Fitbit does. Isn't it so cool? Yeah, so it allows you to track your progress, and that's really helpful for like goal setting goals. So you can say, you know, I want to, I want to, um, you know, reach like this skill level. I want to work out this many times a week, and your um, your phone or whatever device you're using will be able to give you notifications and be able to um, like document that progress for you. And so, um, another thing that's nice about this one is it's actually rechargeable with a USB, um, but it's still like pretty waterproof. So you can plug you. This is like a kind of silicone valve that actually will accommodate a plug going through, and it plugs right into uh, any USB socket. And um, Minna is really excited about all the work that we're doing with DTI and has generally, generously offered to uh, have us provide us with a 20% discount for our clients. So I'll share the discount code for that um, on Twitter after this um, and also on the DTI Doula's website, etc. Um, this is just like such a... <laughs> <laughs> um, he's not gonna think you're nuts, don't worry. <laughs> He'll like it in the end, right? <laughs> um, so this is just like such such a cool toy and I I think I guess I also did call it a toy for a good reason too. If you know using the app isn't yeah if using the app isn't quite your style, if it sounds like kinda too much or in that scenario where that you're that overwhelmed new mom, you can also set it um so that it just is vibrating when you squeeze it. So when it's when you, when you squeeze, it vibrates. And uh, obviously that probably feels pretty good <laughs> if you do that quite a bit over and over, uh, if you catch my drift. So this is, these two products are so cool. I think that it goes without saying that um, the best thing for any sort of real concern about your pelvic floor is seeing a pelvic floor specialist. But these kinds of tools, like the Kegel Smart and the Kegel, that's the name of the one from Minna, um, can kind of help put some of that power in uh, your own hands or your clients' own, own clients' own hands, and that can be an amazing compliment to the work that they're doing with a PT. Uh, and there are of course people who really just unfortunately can't afford that, or um, they feel really uncomfortable with it, or it's not available where they live. Um, <clears throat> and in all those kinds of scenarios, these kinds of solutions that are you know more affordable you might initially kind of go like, wow, $120 is a lot to spend on a Kegel exerciser, but it's a lot less than it costs to see a pelvic floor specialist. Um, and the Kegel Smart is um, a little bit more affordable even at $100.
So like I said, really we want people to be doing these as a complement to work with a pelvic floor specialist. But when that's not possible, it's so cool that these exist and that this option is out there for everyone. Um, anyway, oh, here's my dog. <laughs> uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this broadcast. I'll be sharing links and information after. <laughs> Sorry, she just woke up from a nap. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.